What's going on, my gamers? Another day and some more Cyberpunk 2077 news. But before we get to that, make sure you guys are hitting the thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are new. I've noticed that almost 60% of you guys watching my videos are not yet subscribed. I'd like to be able to change that. So hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you are enjoying yourself. And join me on my live streams where we play, make fun of, and just overall enjoy ourselves playing Cyberpunk 2077 as well as other games but let's go ahead and get to this news article where apparently playstation is doing refunds for cyberpunk 2077 so in an odd turn of events playstation who has actually been notorious for not doing refunds um, or not having a proper refund policy put in place is actually doing refunds for cyberpunk 2077 um this is very interesting in the fact that there are a lot of issues with the game. I'm, in fact, when I've streamed it, uh, I, I get at least two crashes a live stream. Last night, in particular, the stream crashed twice. The first one within the first 40 minutes of gameplay, and the second one 50 minutes after that. So within an hour and a half, the game crashed twice. So that's saying a lot. Before that... Uh, we had a crash every hour and a half, so within three hours it crashed twice. Uh, still, that is quite a bit of crashing to be had in a game that just released that should not be crashing as much as it is. With that being said, let's get to the article. Cyberpunk 2077 refunds are reportedly being issued by PlayStation. This article is coming to us from comicbook.com. Last week, Cyberpunk 2077 finally released on PS5, PS4. At, no, let's correct you. It released on PS4. It didn't release on PS5. We don't have a PS5 version. It released on PS4 and other platforms, and it's already one of the year's best-selling and highest-rated games. In fact, it looked poised to end up as one of the best-selling games of the generation. Hold on. Let's take a quick second here because as far as the highest-rated games go, uh, that's not entirely true. Um, the ratings for the PC version, yes, I would say is... One of the higher rated game, or you know, one of, it is being rated highly, but not entirely for, not entirely for the uh, console version of the game. So console version of the game is not being. It's actually been review bombed because of all the bugs uh, that are in the game. Uh, so, anyways, however, while it's been a huge launch for CD Projekt Red, it hasn't been a smooth one. That's putting it lightly. Uh, put simply, the game does not run well on console. I would argue it doesn't run at all on console unless you have a PS5 or Xbox Series X, uh, particularly last-gen consoles. And this is not only be causing issues for Cyberpunk 2077, but Sony, who is fielding requests for refunds. Um, now, we say previous-gen consoles, but let's be honest, this game was developed for previous-gen consoles, which is PS4 and Xbox Ones. It was made for those systems, and it doesn't run on them. It doesn't. Typically, PlayStation doesn't offer refunds for digital games, especially once they've been played. However, every once in a while, it makes exceptions. For example, this generation, it made exceptions for games like Anthem and No Man's Sky. Rightfully so. Taking to Reddit, one user relayed word that PlayStation customer service issued a refund when asked. By itself, this claim wouldn't be very noteworthy, but in the comments, others have confirmed a successful refund request as well. However, others claim their, requ their requests have been denied, suggesting refunds are being handled on a case-by-case -case basis. In other words, it's not a blanket policy and is likely dependent on the customer rep, how much the player has played the game, and whether or not they've received a refund in the past. Like Xbox and Nintendo, PlayStation essentially awards players, uh, awards players one no-questions-asked refund. This is possible through... Uh, those getting refunds are simply cashing in on this offer. At the moment of publishing, neither CD Projekt Red nor Sony have commented on these reports. That said, the original Reddit post claims that the rep they have spoke to said that PlayStation has filed a business complaint to the Polish developer. For now, take everything here with a grain of salt. While there are multiple reports, they are all of the anonymous variety and some sale and details are missing. Um, okay, so let, let's talk about this really quick. Okay, we're going to break this down for just a second. Um, if you bought your game physically, like, like I did, if you bought your game physically from a retailer such as Best Buy, Best Buy will return the game. 
Uh, within 14 days, they will return the game. Especially with problems like this, they will return the game. Um, Amazon, I believe, will also do the same. They will return the game if you have an issue. Uh, I don't know about Walmart. I can't speak for Walmart because I don't have any experience returning an open game to Walmart. Um, Target, I'm not sure. They may or may not do it. Uh, but as far as I know, Best Buy will, Amazon will. GameStop is iffy. I think it's it's more along the lines of a uh, whether or not the manager is a dick or not. If the manager does their job and they are understand you know understanding of the situation, uh, GameStop may refund you know an open copy and then they'll just put it as like a pre-owned or a gutted copy or whatever they're gonna do. There are a lot of issues with this game. We've talked about it before. They, If you're playing on a PS4, if you're playing on an Xbox One S, uh, and, and I say PS4, it's the base model PS4, really, um, the game is unplayable. It will run at 15 to 25 frames per second. Uh, it doesn't render character models, uh, much less the city itself. Uh, there's there's reports of the game crashing when you first turn on the game and you see the opening cutscene and it crashes. Uh, there's a lot of problems. Now the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro do fare a little better running the game at 30 FPS, dipping into about 25 FPS when you're in the city and in heavily concentrated areas. Uh, it, it's a little bit more bearable, but it's still, I would say, is barely playable at that point because you're it's it's really rough on the xbox series x and the ps5 however the the game runs at 60 fps almost constantly but uh, in contrast to that there are crashes a lot of crashes okay as i said at the beginning of, the vi of this video the game has crashed on me twice in a live stream and each each live stream i should say that i've done uh, last night for example crashed twice within an hour and a half and I am on the latest patch of the game. Okay, so just letting you guys know that, yes, my game is updated and my dog is making noises. Uh, my game is updated and it's still crashing. It's actually crashing more frequently than it was before. So nothing got fixed. Nothing got fixed. So thank you guys so much for watching the video today. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. Join me in my live streams, like I said, where we get to make fun of the game and have just have fun in general playing the game, but making fun of the game. With that, I'll see you all real soon.